Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So I want to continue the dialogue on the expectations of women, especially women who are middle-aged. Mm -hmm. I know, Amber, you and I were talking about that. Mm -hmm. And and I told you, what is middle-aged? I, I don't know. I mean, oh, okay. I, I, I was like, we have to now, step yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm wondering. Okay. And, and it's like, how are we even, you know, classifying middle-aged now if, you know, 30 is the new 20 is right. middle-aged 60? Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you got that. Well, I got the wisdom when I'm not middle age. I'm not ashamed of my age, though, but I, I did turn 34. So I don't know if is that middle age. I you're mean, on the brink of it. You're not getting on middle age. age. No, no, no. You don't hit middle the age until you're like about 45. Cheryl, are you middle age? 45. Uh, no, um, I'm right here with Amber. Well, <laughs> you're not going to. But I am looking into the rim. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking over the, the edge. I will tell you, it is 45. It is the forgotten stage of a woman's age. life. Mm, 45. 45. What do you mean it's forgotten? Because oh our God, roles yeah. change so much. Yeah. Our roles have changed. Our mothers used to be younger. Yeah. They used to, how, how, how old are your moms? My mom is still in her 60s. Wow. Do you know how many moms I know who are in their 60s that have teenage kids? Mm. Middle Absolutely. age has changed. Well, because we, we had our forgotten careers before wow. the family, and then they had a family later in life, and now middle age just happened, and we're in a whole nother place of our lives. But I'm not. It's changed because of technology and yeah. everything. So everybody's trying Absolutely. to say, young, no, computer, and it depends I mean, on what culture you grew up in, yeah, and you know. what what technology you live with. But mm -hmm. you, Cheryl, I wonder, do you have any sense of the expectations that you're, you know? Facing, you just got a new house. Yes. Oh, um, I mean, that's a huge yeah. responsibility. Well, I know. I think. I think. Um, I'm not middle aged, but I think that moment when your responsibilities increase exponentially. Mm. Um, like, for example, my mom is also in her 60s. Um, fortunately, the later half of the 60s. I said fortunately because my dad passed away when he was 66. Mm -hmm. So to even just surpass that, I think is a good thing. But then I look at her, and it's like. She's independent now, but I can, you know, I, I can see the, you know, the aging starting to set in. And, you know, I, I know that, like, we're, my sister and I live nearby, and we're trying to get her to move closer to us. Because, so you can look in after So her. we can look in on her. I mean, she's already been a cardiac patient, so we've already had to look after her in that response. Mm -hmm. And um, fortunately, you know, she's, you know, she's healed from that, but, but we always worry. Do you have a fear of taking care of your mom? Or? You know what? No, because I'm, <laughs> I'm fortunate that we have enough family resources that we can get her the care oh, she needs. But yeah. Anna's been looking after several of members mom. of your yeah. family. Yeah. Well, I take care of my mom. She's young and I, I feel, I don't know if it's being the whole Latina, Hispanic community. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, it, but it, it, I just feel like the necessity that no matter what, even if I had my own family, I still got to take care of her. Right. Like, I, I, I don't know. Well, yeah. She's, no, she's I have phenomenal. a confession though. Recently, you know, I found out my father was stabbed. And in that, I got fearful. Because I was like, oh my goodness, I have to take care of this man. What if I have to take okay. care of him? What if he's dead? What if I have to bury him? You know, how can you handle homeless, all of that? You know, he doesn't have any resources that I know of that will be able to take care of him. So that was that fear of like, what do I do when I have to go find him? Or you know, I, don't I mean, know. what what do you do? What kind of expectations do you have? I, I really don't have any expectations of him. So I just kind of feel like it's kind of like me going to search for someone who I don't know. But you have that. But like it's just you feel you got to feel that right. But I feel as a child, and this is my parent, I have to yeah. go out and go and try and find him. You so know? it's our obligation then, as children, to become parents to our parents at some point. I think yeah, I just go way back yeah. well, to when, in we, the, were, in when the we were Asian younger. Culture, right. and it's kind of built in that usually it's the first, the oldest child, preferably the oldest son, oh, that good. is going to take oh, care. So that's that's care of yeah. It's been built in. It's built in in that culture. Okay. So unfortunately, I'm the oldest, so right now I'm the fun mom. And, and the oldest son, which is my brother. Okay, so then, so then I have a question. What if it's al it's almost like an indirect parenting relationship? Like, for example, what if you had to take care of your husband's parents? How does that impact Ooh. you? Because I know I, I they're on the, their own. The, the relationship I just got out of they're on their own. The relationship I just got out of. You know, my ex, my, you know, my ex boyfriend. He was the oldest son um, of eight, but his parents and were largely dependent upon him, and I. I just looked at my future. That's a huge. I looked at my future of you know, especially you know, taking care of his mom. Right. She has daughters, mm -hmm. but quite frankly, I felt like the the burden of her care was going to fall to me, and the uh, the prospect of that was. Well, I, I think the whole mm -hmm. prospect of those obligations, expectations, is terrifying. I can mm -hmm. hardly handle my life as it is in my twenties, but to be expected to care for my own family, my husband, and my parents, and I mean, and they're my husband's parents. 
my God, it sounds like hell. I don't know how any woman could balance those expectations. I really yeah. don't. But they know, I think sometimes what people forget is men go through a midlife crisis. And we all acknowledge it. We're not alone in this. So women go through one too, and we ignore it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Either well, we suck it up. Ladies, I, I definitely want to continue this conversation when we get back from this break. Are you in every way, woman? Stay with us. We'll be right back.